taught me something many years ago. That I, there must be a transition from being a carrier to a transmitter. And I say it without apology or without boasting. I know what I am. I'm a transmitter. See, that's why I don't need to pray for you to fall down. I, I don't sometimes, I don't even need to lay hands on you. I know when God is on me. Just by a word, transmission will happen. You need to understand what you carry. When you know what to carry, child of God, life changes, life happens. And my prayer is that all of us need to get to a place where we stop getting excited because the Holy Ghost was moving in a place. Become, because you see, when you're a transmitter, you say one word. One word. And that person's life will change. They'll go wherever they are. Their life will be different. Never be the same again. You may never ever meet them again. I'll lay hands on you as a carrier. Devils will come out. you go out and carry the same devils at the traffic light. Are you hearing me, beloved? This is scripture. Am I giving you stories? No. He preached. Evil spirits came out. People believed. People were baptized. Why then did they have to send Peter and John? There are levels and there are levels. Tonight, if you're believing God, you're trusting God, come in faith. Come in faith to the, to, 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 to the God who says, out of your heart, out of your belly. Hmm. Verse 16. Let me show you this. Oh, my goodness. Oh, this time. Get ready, get ready. Just begin to fix yourselves so I can just be pushed out of here. I feel like I'm just beginning. For as yet, now listen to this. He had fallen upon none of them. They had only been baptized. Now go to verse 17. Verse 17. These are just truths that the Holy Spirit showed me in, 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 in a time that I really needed to know who he was. And the Bible says they laid hands on them and they received the Holy Spirit. I want you to see something. Verse 18. Look at verse 18. Let's read together. And when Simon saw that through the laying on of the apostles and the Holy Spirit was given, he offered. What was the difference between what Philip did? I mean, yeah, Philip, right? And what the apostles did. What was the difference? Because he preached. He cast devils out. Things were happening. But there was something different. Something tangible. What is it that Simon experienced? Because you see, the transmission of the Holy Spirit into your being, out of your belly, out of your heart, your inner being, the, trans the, the transformation comes from inside out, not outside in. Come on. Come on. Simon noticed that people's lives changed. Simon noticed the love for God, the love for the people, the way they did things. How they started forgiving others. How they overlooked small things. He said, wait a minute. When you laid hands on those people, something changed. Whatever you have, I want it so that even me when I lay hands on them, this thing you have. That's what he says. He offered them money saying, give me this power also. So that anyone on whom I lay hands... They said, choose seven, full of the power, full of the spirit. So what was the difference? We must become hungry for that difference, beloved. And on and on. So I just wanted to show you that. So we don't get carried away here. But today, I'm just praying that there will be somebody thirsty. There will be somebody hungry. Enough to want to become a transmitter. Hallelujah. Just be hungry for it. Listen, beloved, you don't need any experience. Because one of the things I used to think is that when, because I'll tell you, if you know my story, everywhere where there was preaching, I was always in front. Prayer, prayer, prayer. Lay hands, bam, come up again. Now, the problem was that people around me used to fall. 
but I never used to fall. Tell you the truth. I never used to fall. So, they will pray, pray, and I'll be there. They lay hands, they lay hands, they lay hands, they push me, say, until, you know, maybe just pretend a little bit and fall. <laughs> Tell you the truth. We used to have Friday night meetings in our, in our home, eh? in the basement of our home. As a believer then, fire for the Lord, you know, everybody around me. I was getting baptized in the Holy Ghost. Hey, and when they come every Friday, you know, every Friday, we even had different ministers who would come, you know, and they would do, yeah, even, you know, Pastor Muna came from Zambia, I was on fire, fireman, fireman, fireman. He came in there, and, uh, hey, you remember those Friday night meetings? Hey, you know, the boosters, you know, and they would, uh, you know what they told me? Let me tell you, me and another man. Yeah, today is an elder. Many of you may know him, Elder Changwe. You know, he used to he used to work for the embassy. I'm, I, I mean, I'm mentioning names because these are not lies. It's the truth. The two of us, man of God, they will lay hands on us. We will not fall, and we feel, we couldn't speak in tongues. They will say, today they will tell me, now nah, just open your mouth, just start doing blah blah blah. They told me that I've seen in my life. I'm telling you, God is my witness. They said I have seen in my life because one, I wasn't falling. Two, I couldn't speak in tongues. So that could be your position today. Don't be concerned. I was there. I was there. They even looked at me. I remember they would put us in a circle. <laughs> So stand right there. Stand right there. Woo! Mm-hmm. More. 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 He says, stay right there. Stay. They'll put you in a circle. Ma, 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 ka, ka, ka. Till we got tired. Nothing was, I think they also got tired. You know the problem with us preachers? When we find something like that, we know there, this is an assault on my anointing. Why isn't she falling? Why isn't it happening? So, in my quest, because I truly thought there was something wrong with me, and I began to search for God. Three years of walking with the Lord, I loved the Lord, I studied the Word of God, but I struggled. And I was seeking God. I was really seeking and hungry for God. Until one day. You know, three years of that. Do you know all I was taught? No, nothing bad about whatever was teaching me or what. But do you know I stayed? I was being taught. Nobody taught me about the Holy Spirit. I was taught about the word. I was taught about being God. I was taught about the Holy Spirit. Like, okay, he's there. You know, follow the Holy Ghost. But the experience... And the power of the Holy Spirit is different. So it's one thing for me to tell you about the Holy Spirit. It's another thing to experience Him. Are you hearing me? But we, we must be hungry for Him. So when I say, oh, nobody taught me, I don't want to make it look like, no, they never mentioned Him. No, they did. But maybe I didn't hear it in such a way, in such a manner as the day he gave me revelation. I became so hungry for God because of sometimes the things we do in the house of God. But the Bible tells us that when he comes, everything changes. So tonight, be hungry. Just be hungry. Be hungry for God. Brother Albert, be hungry for God. Out of your heart. Maybe nothing will happen to you today. You just enjoy worship, enjoy God and leave. But if you are hungry, he will touch you and your life will never be the same. I may not pray for you. The pastors here may not pray for you. But God himself will touch you. And even if I pray for you and nothing happens, it will just be, oh yeah, he just touched me. But believe God. Because it is a we are just vessels. We are just vessels. 
Are you hearing me, beloved? Amen.